Hello everybody and welcome back to Vinny Adventures! I'm Vinny and today we're venturing back into the land of Hyrule for Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode we ran all around Hyrule um, basically collecting little characters for our sky book in order to restore the magical word that we essentially needed Shad to kind of like mutter so that we could move the owl statue underneath the sanctuary in Kakariko Village so that we could find this monstrosity and then we had Fire repair it for us for a mere 300 rupees uh, which is really not too bad considering I still have 267 left we should be able to fully pay back Mallow by the time we are done with the next portion of the game how Ever. We are not going to delay this any further. We are going to get into this sucker and I need my claw shot. There we go. Um, so once the giant cannon is repaired, you can uh, come around back here and you can see there is a claw shot marking. I don't know exactly how this works, like logistically, like what happens once I get inside there. But all we need to do, of course, is just claw shot our way on in. And look who it is! Looks like we have someone following us to the sky. Oh. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Bing. <laughs> oh, my nerd. Oh, hey, Uku. Hey, oh my god, she's she's actually kind of cute floating in the water like a duck like that. Like, I'll level with you. She's slightly cute until you get like a real close look at her. Phew, gracious, we made it back, finally. Welcome, adventurer. This is the sky city of the Uka. Er, since you came all this way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. Eek! Oh my goodness. Oh, they are freaking out about that. Yes! As if one Uku was not enough, we now have- or er, Uku, we now have two! Oh goodness, brave adventurer, you won't believe it! There's a dragon raging outside the city walls! Oh, I'm terribly worried about everyone, I'm going to check in the shop for survivors! Actually, don't know which one of them was talking, honestly, at that moment. But anyway... Uh, whoa! Okay, hello, wind. Yeah, I mean, being a city in the sky, it does make sense for it to be windy. And immediately, guys, immediately, I see something that I want. And, oh, we don't have the Zora tunic on, but I'm lazy. I really don't want to switch to it, so come on, Link. Just, just a little bit faster than that would be great. Just... Just be peachy. Water bombs. Or actually, I, you know what? I think we were low on water bombs, mostly because I was an idiot and kept accidentally using them when I- Ooh, another chest. I kept accidentally using them every time I wanted to pull out the Master Sword. You know, because me and my wrong buttons. They were already bad enough, and then I went and played Breath of the Wild and just ruined everything. But yeah, there's 20 rupees in that chest, so yeah, we already are making some decent amount of, uh, of money here. Um, but I'm so- ooh, come on. Alright, you know what? Just, yeah, up here in the sky, obviously the gale winds can get a little bit strong. Oh boy! No, I'm just ignoring you. I want to go in here. Now, I'm really surprised because normally by now... The game would introduce me as to what the name of this area is, but it hasn't yet. Um, I know what the name- I mean, I've basically already said it, but... Like, who knows? Who knows how you pronounce that? Uh, male, star star, female... I don't even know what those are. Star star, ellipses... Two thirds- no, ellipses ellipses. <laughs> are you Hylian? No? I speak a little highly, and you understand me? See something you want? Uh, no. No, actually, I see nothing that I want. So, yeah, there is a little shop in here. It's a very interesting place. What do you have to say? Are, oh, are you, are you Uku? Wait, U Uku, and, the, and then the race is the Uka. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, 
<clears throat> Sorry for earlier, adventurer. Ooh, but you're planning on walking around the city and taking it in, right? I'm worried about the others, and this is an emergency. I just can't stand around waiting. Please take me too. I won't help you warp to the surface, but I will bring you back to the shop anytime. That's good enough. It's good enough, Fuku. Yep, yep, yep. We now have Uku again, right off the bat. And yeah, this whole time, Uku has been, you know, fuck. I mean, I guess you could say Uku was following us, but it it really was probably the other way around. Um, she was looking. Okay, okay, wind. Oh, I'm scared. No, no, get away from me. Get away from me. Just, just go, Link. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. If you put on your boots, obviously, you can kind of mitigate the, the, the wind, the power of the wind, but um, sometimes it's just easier to just kind of wait for it to die down a bit. And, oh, wait a minute. What? What is, what is, oh, I see. Oh, and here we go. The game is finally going to, like, you know, actually tell you where we are. Welcome to the city in the sky. This if you haven't already guessed by now, is the home world of the Uku. Now, I have theories about this place. For any of you that have played um, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which is supposed to be the very, 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 very first game in the Zelda timeline, I should say. Um, for any of you that have played it, you know that you start out in a city in the sky with like birds and everything. I have a theory that this very same city in the sky, um, because Twilight Princess is a part of that same timeline, I feel that this city in the sky in Twilight Princess is one and the same with Skyloft in um, Skyward Sword, just that over time evolution has definitely taken its toll. Now, I could be wrong, there could be something in the lore proving me wrong here, but that's that's my theory, and I'm sticking with it for now, anyway. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk to some of these. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, you guys are <laughs> Yeah, essentially, these guys act as cuckoos. So you can actually pick them up and you can use them to glide around, which I think I'm gonna need to do um, eventually, maybe even right here, to be honest. These blue platforms that have the rupee symbols, I mean, all the platforms have rupee symbols on them, but this, the blue ones in particular, as soon as you step on them, they will shake and then slowly descend to, well, you know, your death, essentially. So, the whole gimmick with these is that you, you have to figure out a way to get across stuff without dying, and yeah, it looks like we are gonna need to use an uku here. So, uka, uka, an uka. Oh, that's gonna get. Okay, I don't have my. Okay, okay, okay. What? You missed me. Try again, sir. Um. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I mean, I, I was gonna kill you anyway, but that. I, that's. That's a little bit gruesome of a way to die. Is that one crawling on the. on the wall? Wait a minute. What is happening? Oh my god, it is crawling on the wall. As if these things weren't freaky enough, they- what? I don't remember this. Okay, well, you know, sure, okay, why not? That's- that's all I have to say about that. Now, hold on a minute, how do I get across here? I don't- do I have to- oh man, do I have to like throw you up or something? Or do I have to like- no, because it won't let me- it won't let me do that. Can I- ooh, I want to try something. Mr. Uku on the wall. Uka on the wall. Uka on the wall. Can I do this? <gasps> oh, I can. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so that's how I get across here. Now, can I just slash your butt? Okay, I cannot slash your butt. Give me your armor, and I won't kill you like I killed your- your- your pal over there. Okay. No. I hate these platforms. They- they creep me out a little bit. Now- I'll just go ahead and say this, I haven't said this in a while, mostly because the last two dungeons that we did, um, they are some of my favorite in the in the series, obviously, so I remember them a lot more than I remember this dungeon. This dungeon is not a bad dungeon, I would say that this is a pretty damn good dungeon, I just don't remember it very much, so we're probably gonna be here for a while, and I'm probably gonna get lost, and it's probably gonna be hilarious slash frustrating, so just, you know, keep that in mind, and ooh, I don't think I can take your ar- I can't take your armor off, okay. Um, can I, like, stun you, and then, yeah, oh, wait, no, 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 wrong button, Link. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I'll, I'll just do this a bunch of times then, I suppose. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's like a big one of those things. Uh, you can't take their armor off, but you still can kill them. Now, there's like pots and stuff up there. I know that you can, ooh, ooh. Okay, time to explore. Oh wait, I don't think I can get it from this angle. No, totally, oh wait, maybe I can. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, okay, I want to see because like obviously there's oh What is this? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I'm intrigued. What have I stumbled across here? Ah Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go and I just kind of like found it like right away. Uh, I need my spinner I want to spin on oop. Nope. I want to spin into that and we need to mash the X button. Come on, come on, come on, come on, turn those cogs. Yeah, you turn those cogs, Link. I don't know what this is doing, but oh, there we go. We're making a bridge. We haven't even been over there yet. We're already making the bridge to that area. So yeah, being super efficient here without actually, um, you know, trying to be. I was just, I thought I was like finding an area where there might be like a heart piece or something, but yeah. Oh, guys. So how is everybody? I'm gonna ask you that again, cause like, you know, I really, really like to know how you guys are doing in life, just in general. Um, and it's, I don't know, I, it feels like it has been a really long time since we did a dungeon. It's probably not for you guys, but um, it, it is for me, cause like, it's been, a, I don't know, it's been about two weeks, I think, since I actually completed the last major dungeon, which was, uh, was that the Snow Peak Ruins? Yeah, I think it, I think no, it was the Temple of Time. Oh my goodness, yeah. The Temple of Time, It's it's been about two weeks since I completed it. So, for me, it's it's only been about a, maybe a two or, like, I don't know, five days for you guys, something like that. Like, two upload days or something. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of interesting that... Oh, there's claw shot targets everywhere. This, this is just like... There's so many ways I could go, and I don't really have a map yet? I mean, I kind of... Okay, am I gonna be able to... Do, yeah, I can, I can do this. Go quickly, Link. Now, I think after a while, these things do eventually, like, respawn. I don't know how long it takes, but I know that they do. So, don't worry if you, like, screw yourself and, like, you know, make them all fall and have no way to get back across. Usually, though, this dungeon is pretty nice about being able to get back to places, though. Um, there's usually something that you can claw shot onto. Um, and ooh, another one of these things. Man, I didn't even explore the last bridged area that I unlocked, and we've already, ooh, can, okay, Link, Link, let's play pinball a little bit here, and yes, there you go. Oh, sorry, Blue Rupee. You shall be missed. Is this gonna make another bridge? Probably. I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't. Yeah, there it is. Making another bridge. So, yeah, I mean, we haven't really seen too many of the major gimmicks in this. I mean, I guess we have. This dungeon really is just going to be... Okay, and I see that that requires a small key, so we obviously need to go back the other way, probably across the other bridge to get said small key. Um, but yeah, the, the major gimmick of this dungeon is kind of like wind and claw shot. And you'll see what I mean, especially in the claw shot department, probably pretty soon. Um, we haven't really seen too much of it yet, but but trust me you will. And is there is there okay, there's nothing up there on that ledge, there's nothing up there on the I mean there's probably like maybe rupees up there, but uh I'm not really that worried about it. In fact I think a hundred more rupees or so and we'll already have enough to pay off Mallow. And that's really all I feel like I need rupees for at the moment, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I'll pick him up if I see him, but I won't go out of my way to get him. Um, although I will smash some pots if they're like, wait a minute, what? Wait, where's the bridge that I... I'm confused. So this isn't the bridge that I... Um, I unlocked a bridge somewhere. I unlocked two bridges. Where's the first one? Game. Game, what? Where? Where is bridge? Siri, is it? Oh. Oh, it's probably, oh, <laughs> oh, okay, um, oh, oh, no, <laughs> really, game, really, I mean, I don't know why I'm blaming the game, clearly I'm the one that did that, do I not normally, no, I normally put my claw shot onto Y, I don't know why I pressed X there, but whatever, that's, 
Ah, another funny fa- oh, there's a fairy. Well, I guess we sort of needed it. Not- not really, but- ooh, can I make this? I don't think I can make this. I'm gonna try, though! Woo! Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it, we're fine. We are fine. We are fine. So, uh, I got, uh, this is a little bit off, off topic, a little bit of a tangent, but I got, uh, Super Mario Kart, no, not Super, just, just Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, um, the other day, and so far I've played a little bit of it. I had played it before in the past, and I'm not you I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm not huge on racing games. Um, the only racing games I've really played in my life were, like, California racing, you know, at the arcades, and then also, like, um, obviously Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing, um, was a big one for me as a kid. Um, but, like, they're not my favorite in the, you know, Mario genre, so to speak. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. I've only played, like, the 50cc so far, just because mostly I want to, like, see the maps. And don't worry, I, I'm just playing a little bit to kind of get a hang of it. And then I plan on recording, like, an episode or two of it. Um... I might even record that tonight, actually, now that I think about it. So, so we'll see. You'll see that up on the channel hopefully pretty soon, or maybe even by the time this video- Oh, oh no, not again! Okay, I'm taking that off my bars! That is getting off my bars right meow, because I cannot- I, Like, seriously, I've done that twice now already in the span of, like, two minutes. Uh, what do I want to put in its place? You know what, let's put the arrows there, and let's put the claw shot on X. I think that's the safest- the safest bet, and okay, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed- oh, I guess I'm supposed to just drop down, but I want- oh wait, I can get it. I was like, but I want the chest, and I don't see a way to get it. No, you, you just do this. This is all you do. What is gonna be in here? The map, maybe? That would be helpful. No, you got a small key. Okay, well, there's the small key we needed. Uh, is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. Why would I- oh, have I- oh no, I've made a mistake. Have I made a mistake? Oh, I've made it. Wait. Can I get back up? Please tell me. Tell me I can get... Uh, maybe, but I'm not quite at the right angle. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. You're like, but Vinny, there's a claw shot target there. Yeah, well, wh how? I, I only have one claw shot. How am I supposed to get... Uh, oh! Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Thank goodness the developers are nice. <laughs> nice enough to do this. We are intended to come back here, but not at the, like, not at the moment. Like, we're, we're done in this, in this area for now. We just needed the small key. So now you want to head back on through here, and we, we want to go back over to that other area, and I'm going to kind of cut out this middle section a little bit here, so, because I think that this section, or this, this, oh, no, 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 wind, wind. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back in just a second. Oh, just kidding. Wait. I was gonna cut, but I'm no longer cutting because a cutscene has happened. Wait, what? What is going on? Oh, we we're just showing the dragon again? Okay. <laughs> oh, good. So now the bridge that I just made is now completely destroyed. Permanently. Good to know. So yeah, now we cannot get back across there, and I just told you guys, oh, we're gonna have to go back there later, so I wonder if there's going to be an item that we will get in this dungeon that will allow us to go back there later. Hint, hint. Um, but yeah, I was gonna cut, but now it just feels, like, silly, so you're just gonna have to suffer watching... I mean, I guess it's kind of important to, to see this anyway. Um, you just get back through here by, like, you know, claw shotting onto the vines. It's, it's not- oh, no, Link, to the side. Link, Link, to the side, Link. Link, you're not- you're not the most, uh, I don't know. You're, you're just not the most intelligent person sometimes. I tell you to go to the side, and you climb down, and you climb down when there's literally nothing underneath you, and you could fall to your death and die. Permanently. Well, not- I mean, you know, not for me. It's a game, but for Link, it would be per- Oh, no! No, I hate you, wind. I mean, so far we haven't died to the wind, but it's definitely been a little bit scary. Okay, we made it across. We made it across. Okay, good, good, good. And we have our key, so let's, let's open up the door and make our way on through. Um, but another game that I have- well, I haven't been playing this game. I- I, too, am a fan of the Let's Play, obviously, or I wouldn't even really know that they exist, I guess. Um, 
I have been watching Let's Players do uh, Outlast 2. I don't know if you guys... Oops, those are arrows. I don't know if you guys are big into horror games, um, but Outlast is a horror game, and the original came out, like, I think four years ago, and it is a... T oh, goodbye. Just, I'm sorry, but... I mean, you kind of did that to yourself. I mean, I guess the way that they stay on the ground is their armor, and I kind of pulled it off of him, which is a little mean of me, but he was going to die anyway. I mean, like, I, what, do you, what do you say there? Um, but anyway, Outlast 2, I've been watching it. I watched the whole thing. I, I had debated playing it on this channel, um, and I, I don't know, I kind of regret not playing it, but guys, I don't normally... I don't know. I'm, I don't normally play scary games. I, horror games, I guess, is, is the more appropriate term. I normally just watch people play horror games because I am a weenie. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't think I could function half the time. I think it would get, I think it would get frustrating for me to, to constantly be dying all the time, too. Um, and yeah, but I did watch some other Let's Players, and it was pretty entertaining, and my god, that game is terrifying. I can't decide if it's more or less scary than the original, but it definitely, oh, it definitely messes with your mind at times, I'll say that much. So, I don't know, if you guys like horror games, but you haven't ever heard of Outlast, definitely check out Outlast and Outlast 2. They are really good games. Uh, you got the dungeon map! Yay, finally! So now we can actually see, you know, like rooms and where we've been and what we've unlocked and what we haven't yet. Uh, we got some more rupees. I'm probably gonna have to use this uka, right? Am I gonna have to use the uka? Wait, what? Uh, what? Wait, no, but seriously, what? How? I am so, so confused, right? What? Okay, let me look on the map. No, like, what What am I supposed to be doing here? This makes no sense. There's no way I can, like, claw shot through this stuff. Can, and I can't talk to you, right? Yeah, no. I mean, why are you here anyway? Like, do I throw you? No. I, I don't, all right. I guess we're not intended to, what did I, I got the, the, the map from that chest. So I guess we have to, oh, there's no way though. There's- how am I supposed to get over there? The wind is gonna- okay, I- I'm gonna try something for science, but I don't think this is gonna work at all. Like, I really don't think this is going to work in the slightest. Okay, go- no, there's no way! It even falls down faster when you have the iron boots on. Hmm. What? No, but like... What? Am I- wait, is there just a gap over there that I, like, climb across or something? Or, or like, jump across, I mean? And I, oh, great. Please tell me there's a way to, like- okay! Ooh, that was scary. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, this is what I get for being impatient, by the way. Impatience is a bad thing, believe it or not. Uh, okay, go, 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 go. All right, and boots, please. I, I don't like, like, honestly, the boots make you go super slow, so I, I kind of forget that they're a thing sometimes unless I absolutely have to use them. Wait, can I jump across this gap? What? Oh, ah, I see. Clever, cleverly hidden. That's going to turn that off, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we can get across over there. Let's, uh, can we get some hearts, maybe? Uh, okay, I'll take 10 rupees. That's fine. Uh, hearts? Heart. Okay, a singular heart, though. Um, do I even have to, like... Oh. Hold on. Whoop! Okay, nope, I don't even have to. Ooh, okay. Right, right, right. I, I understand. I, I get everything. I understand. Okay, we need to claw, crawl around. Nope, crawl around to... There we go, Link. Okay, now we can get across here and progress. Is there anything in these? No. Well, yes, yeah, a heart. I did want a heart. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I've, I've just been kind of like, I don't know, nerding out on like horror games and, and Mario Kart. Like, what have you guys been playing? Is there anything that, uh, that you guys are playing at the moment that you, I don't know, maybe you think that 
I should play on my channel um, because I do have obviously more Let's Plays coming up after this one is done and we are not too terribly far away from finishing guys. It's kind of strange to say that but we really really are not that far off. Um, oh get up quickly Link, thank you. Um, so yeah, I mean I, I won't take the suggestion for the very next Let's Play that I do obviously because there's just not enough time. Oh, are we actually going to have to use our... Yeah, it looks like it. It has been a while since we've had to use our boomerang. Alright, uh, now... Okay! Alright, there we go. I don't know why I get so nervous jumping across gaps. I, I don't even really have a fear of heights or anything. I just... I guess maybe I have a fear of fall... I do have... I do kind of have a fear of falling. And it's not even necessarily from, like, large, like, height, heights or whatever. It's just falling in general. I have dreams sometimes where I'm, like, falling or, like, I'll be driving a car and then the road will just end and I'll just plummet and then I'll wake up, you know. I'm sure that's, that's like, a pretty common thing, I feel like, for people. Um, how do I get back over? Do I just jump this? Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, let me know. Give me some suggestions. I already know pretty much which game I'm going to be playing next. I'm not going to tell you guys right now, though, because I want it to be a surprise, honestly. I, I just want it to be a surprise, but, um, the, me, you know, maybe the game after that, um, maybe the game after that will be a suggestion from one of you. Uh, maybe it'll be something I haven't played yet. Usually I save games that I haven't played before for, you know, the, the Twitch channel, but, um, I don't know, there's there's a possibility of me playing a game that I haven't played yet on, on the YouTube channel. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to be doing some YouTube videos on Mario Kart, and while I have technically played the game before, a lot of what I will be playing most likely in the video will still be new to me, so... It's not a hard, fast rule, it's just normally if I feel like, oh boy, we are locked in a room. Why are we locked in a room? This isn't the mini-boss yet. Oh my god, it might... No, no, it's not. No, it's it's totally not. What? Okay, I see you. Oh, there's you're like the oh 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 no 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 no. Come here, come on. Wait, where? Which button is no? Which button? Oh, it's this one. Okay, that's what I was trying. I was trying to do the helm splitter. Um, no, 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 no. Can you guys like? Why can't I helm sp Okay, well, that's one way to- Ooh! Okay, you're dead. You're dead. You made the I am dead sound. Come on. Attack me! Wait, why- why is my- Okay, attack me! Attack me! What? Okay, maybe I'm not reacting fast enough. Okay, just- just attack me regularly and I'll just jump it. Alright, I- I'm really- Guys, I know that I can do a backslash here, but I'm really- Okay, well, sure. That's one way to kill you, I suppose now. Alright, I was gonna say, is the door gonna open or, or did I just glitch that out? Um, I didn't want to do the bla the backslash there because I was too afraid that I was gonna like roll off the edge and plummet to my death. Um, which is really, like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. It's, wait, is there even... Yeah, there's just nothingness down there, obviously, because cause the Lizalfos died. Where do I go? Uh, oh, up there. Oh, and I need my claw shot. I need this. Wait, no. I need this. There we go. Is there anything else in this room that I'd want? There's like a door over there, but it doesn't look like I can get to it right now. How do I get to that? Oh. Wait a minute, what? Okay. I know what this thing is, but I'm, I'm confused a little bit. Um, these things, you want a claw shot onto them, and that's gonna, like, pull it down, and it is going to activate the wind. Now, do I, does it even, yeah, the boots don't matter, so that's all we needed to do. Oh, wait. Do I, like, use, oh, I see, I see. We're using the Uka again, aren't we? Okay. Alright, come on, wind. Alright, jump, and let's go, Woo! Alright, so that's how we get across. Okay, camera. Camera, what? Where, where, okay, that's... Alright, camera. You're being a little weird today. Just saying. Now, what is through here? More pots. Listen to this background music. I'm gonna be quiet for like two seconds so you can listen to this. 
It's so weird. It's like the voice of the Uka is in the background. They're like, and it's like constant. It never stops. And that Uka is wall walking again. That is some weird exorcist crap right there. Like, I don't know. That is just, I don't like the Uka already. They creep me out. So for them to just be like climbing on walls is just really weird. They clearly have like duck feet. I don't understand how they're like suction cupping themselves to the walls. It's just really weird. And oh, can we make it all the way across? Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, open this. What are you gonna be? A purple rupee. All right, I'll take it. And ooh, we are officially done with our mallow donation grinding. And oh, hello. Um, where do I go now? Okay, I, I obviously claw shot back here. And then I probably need, okay, I probably need to claw shot one of these guys. No, 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 come here. You, you jerk. Just come here. Okay, we got him. Now, do I do this? Oh, come on. Look at them, they're so weird looking. Like, they have, like, back boobs. I don't even, like, it's so weird. Is anyone else freaked out by the Uka? They're just, they're creepy. I don't like them. <laughs> like, I want to like them because they're nice to me, but they're freaking creepy and, oh, rest in peace, Pots. No, Rupees, I want you. Wait, Uka, 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 no, okay. Hello. No, 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 no. Go back. Please go back. Please go back. There we go. There we go. Now, oh, oh, I see. I see all the way up here. All right. Now, where do I go? <laughs> what is even happening? I feel like I'm missing a million things. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of, uh, like, extra treasure chest hunting in the, the second part of this, like, the second video of this dungeon, because I'm probably going to miss a whole lot of them in the first half knowing me um but yeah this i don't know this dungeon is pretty interesting it's definitely not in my opinion as cool as the last two we did but it's not bad it's just the music is very peaceful and very mysterious but it also kind of like i don't know what about it, it the constant swaying back and forth of the notes perhaps kind of makes me sleepy like, I'm, I'm actually feeling like I'm getting a little sleepy right now because of this music. And it, and it just, for the most part, it's it's just not the most exciting dungeon in the world. But it, it's also not, like, my least favorite dungeon in this game. That would definitely go to the, uh, the Lake Bed Temple. For sure. Uh, where do I take you? Can I claw shot over there? I don't think I can claw shot over there. There is some wind that's, like... Oh, but it's- oh, I've made a mistake. I have made a mistake. Alright, well, we're gonna let go of you here. And I'm gonna kill this guy! There we go. Did he hit me? How did he hit me? I could have sworn I hit him before he was able to hit me, but whatever. I see, like- mm, oh, is that how I opened that door? Oh, there's so much going on in this dungeon right now. There's so- oh, I probably- uh, I probably needed to do that. Oh, okay, well, now I get my chance to do that again. I swear I didn't do that on purpose, but I'm actually kind of glad that I did. There's no way, there is no way my- oh my god, really? Okay, so that's how that door opens. I guess now we have a shortcut back here, probably. Is that what that's- that's meant to be? And I obviously need to use you to float down. Oh, I get- oh, well- oh, 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 yay. Okay, they're- they're kind of smart. Um, you're obviously supposed to avoid this wind, otherwise you will get blown off into that area where I died before. Now, I need to pick you up again. Where- where do I go from here? Ah, oh, 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 no! No! Uka! Stop- stop, like, leaping to your doom! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's a little, little precarious. Okay, okay. We're fine. We are fine. Now, where is that thing? It's right here. Okay, what is this gonna do? It's gonna open a gate. I have no idea where that, okay. Can I, can I drop down from here? How else? Wait, what? Game. Game. No, no, but really game. Game, I can't. Where do I go from here? 
where do, where am I am I not supposed to do this yet? Have I just screwed myself? Oh no. Yep, I've screwed myself. I don't I guess you're not you're not intended to to open that yet. Obviously, is it going to be closed again? Is everything going to be closed again? Okay, that's still open. Okay, I'm going to grab you and I'm going to see if that other area is is still unlocked because if it is, then then I just don't know. I, I don't... Oh, yeah. It, it, it is closed. So, yeah. You're not meant to do that quite yet. Where am I meant to be going, then? That is a, that is the question of the day. Where where do I go? Um. Okay. Alright. Okay. I, I still need to see where... Relati relatively where I'm going! Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, that is what I, I was trying... Now... This still doesn't really help me, though. Is there? There's got to be something else down here, like, like a door all the way at the bottom, right? Right? Yes, there is. Okay, I see it. Oh, oh no, the wind! The wind! The wind! Okay. It's not even really wind. It's, I mean, it is wind, but it's like artificial wind. It's definitely not natural wind. That's for sure. Can we be in the mini boss room? Is this the mini boss room? Yes, I think it is. I think it is, and actually, yeah, we're doing... Oh, wait, what? Is it? This has to be the mini-boss room. The door locked behind me. I mean, I guess the other door locked behind me, but it then clearly showed me that I had to kill enemies. As for this room, I don't know. I think I kind of know what's what's going to happen here, but ooh, and we don't want to fall in there, Link. That would be pretty bad. Ooh, is this the one I was thinking of earlier? Yeah, so this one, the wind is kind of pushing this up a little bit. So what you need to do here is you need to equip the iron boots. That will then allow you to further pull this object down and make the fan start stop spinning. And now we fall through. Welcome to the mini boss of the city in the sky. Aerolfos is his name. He is not like Sky Lizalfos, which is kind of what I wanted to call him originally. But no, he is the Aerolfos, like like Aerol, as in like Ariel, like like sky, like flying. Oh, I think this is what I do. Aha! Yes. Okay. Yeah. When they start to charge up like that, you need to claw shot at them. You will grab onto their tail. Can I, can I seriously not, like, oh, I can helm split you, yes! Get rid of that helmet of yours. Okay, he's gonna go up there. I think these things breathe fire. Are you gonna breathe fire? I remember you vaguely doing that when I was a kid, but I don't know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, not too, I mean, come on, this is a joke so far. Wait, okay, I was gonna say, that cannot, that cannot be it. Wait, okay, oh, okay, he is, oh, I see him. Wait, where, What? what's happening? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I see you, I see you. Get him. Okay, whew. All right, so yeah, they're gonna play a little bit of trickery on you now. Come on, backslash. Can I not? Okay, I need to helm, okay, too late. Oh, what is happening? Where is he going? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Where are you? Where are, where are you? Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I almost had him. Damn it. All right. Come on. Come back here, you coward. Is this the only way you can beat me? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Wait, did he just... Okay, he, he must have left the room again. Uh, oh, he's psyching me out. He's psyching me out. Go, 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 go. Yes, got him. All right, how much... Literally right as I was about to ask, how much more of this do I have to do? But no, that is it. See you later. I like how his eyes are like still yellow when he turns black.
All right, now before we go over there and get that, I would like to grab some hearts just because I know that these are all going to be hearts and I want my health back. Please and thank you. All right, so why don't uh, we go and collect our reward? What do you guys think this is going to be? I've hinted at this a couple times in the Let's Play. Do you know what it is? You got another claw shot! Combined with the one that you already have, they're called the double claw shots. Hold them with one of your buttons, aim with blah blah blah, and release the button to fire. Use it while hanging on another spot to fire again. So, now that we have two claw shots, I mean, first of all, I have to re-equip them. Look at that! Two claw shots! Not one, but two. But now that we have them, what we're intended to do here, I believe... Oh, do I need to go back up here? Probably. Uh, yeah, I didn't really want to drop all the way down. Okay, so, I think from here, I want to get enough... Yeah, we should be able to do this, right? Now, you can see that there's vines that we have to climb claw shot onto. Now, yeah, look, so, check this out. Now, while we are already claw shotted, or attached, rather, just to to another claw shot target, we can use a second claw shot to kind of, like, get around like Spider-Man. It is really, really cool. So, yeah, that's how you're intended to get back out of this room. And... Voila! So, pretty cool item. A lot of things in the game uh, that we couldn't do before or couldn't access before, we now can. Um, but... As usual, we have defeated the mini-boss and got our double claw shots as a reward, uh, which we will be using a lot going further into this dungeon. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. See you later!